Right, hi everyone and welcome along to the channel today. Uh, today uh, you're joining me in the woods. Uh, so the purpose of today's video was going to be to um, cover what I look for when uh, shooting trees with a pinhole camera, uh, what texture I look for on the trees, uh, the roots and stuff. Uh, but I was hoping for a nice bright sunny day because all week has been absolutely lovely. So I've not made another plan, um, which was a bad idea because I should have had another plan. Uh, but today it's just grey and horrible. I've come here hoping it would clear, it hasn't. Um, I've taken some meter readings. I've got um, Fomipan 100, which was a bad idea. Because <laughs> um, my metered reading with that is coming out at just over an hour exposure times with a s-stop of 160 so I think my plan B is that I'm gonna have to push the film to about 800 to maybe get a five six minute exposure I don't really want to do it because I've got some more sheets of film at home which have been exposed at 100 uh, so they all need to be done at exactly the same so I'll just have to hold that off to another day so yeah that's the plan i'm gonna push it to 800 hopefully i can find some shots which will work i have no idea what it looks like pushed to 800 i've done it before to four and it looked really nice it worked really well um so i'm just gonna have to wander around this woods see what i can find dog's been freaking me out a little bit looking into thick bushes and stuff and growling and barking and he's so Hopefully I'll, hopefully I'll be right. But anyway, have a wander, see what we can find, and hopefully be able to talk to you a bit through the process of why, what I look for with trees. And hopefully we'll get some nice photos. So anyway, we'll have a wander, see what we can find. Okay, so first shot I've got set up using my Zero Image 4x5. This is the super, super wide. So what the plan is, what I'm hoping for of this, having the camera nice and low, uh, this route here, particularly this part, quite a big dominant part in the um, foreground. And it's got a nice leading line then with the tree. So, Hopefully the tree is quite centre to the image. That's part of the plan. So I want the tree to be quite central to where I am. Um, and there, so that nice root leading way in. So this, um, it's got an aperture of about 130-ish. Uh, so that gives me an exposure of three minutes 30. So it's not too bad. Um, 
here. With this being so wide, it will get pretty much all the tree in up there. It'll probably chuck it off quite far. Um, the tree is kind of leaning out, which is going to push that away a little bit more. But as long as that root is a nice dominant part in the foreground, it should be quite nice. So get that exposure underway. While that's still got a little moment to go, what I occasionally do with the Zero uh, 45, particularly in the super wide, it's got the same field of view as the GoPro. So what I occasionally do to help with compositions is tilt the camera. On its side like that, and you get a general idea of what you might actually be getting in the photo little tip there. Alright, last couple of seconds. Right, so that's the first one done. Go and find the next one. I have got my undo with me today as well. So hopefully I'll uh, get a couple of shots of that. Um, proper muddy and boggy here today. Right, let's find the next one. So this is another one I like the look of all these roots nice big old tree there's a bit of a drop here so I can't go much further back um, I think this one would be a good one for the ondu actually see we can uh, have a little wander around it and see what we can figure out I've got this one uh, set up again concentrating on these roots which are just going to lead you into the base of that tree I'm sticking with landscape uh, so it just gets because there's quite a nice root section around here so it should just draw all that kind of into it and um, not being so wide as the zero it's not going to push the tree off too far away and should just get a bit of the tree and this kind of branch coming out over here um, hopefully a nice chunk of the tree in it. So I've got about six minute that? six minute exposure. So open this up and get comfy. So while that's uh, taking its picture, uh, so the main thing I look for obviously in uh, pinhole photos of trees is roots. It's um, with a pinhole camera, we've got that infinite depth of field, so it's nice to kind of just get the camera really low and just kind of have them as such a dominant part in the image, which then can just lead you straight up into the tree. Uh, the other thing I like to look for is trees with a really uh, chunky bark. Uh, there's one over here and um, particularly if you've got a day with a harsh sun uh, you kind of get that just on the side 
and it'll really start to bring out all the texture in it as well. I'll just come to this one here. Might try and get a picture of this one a bit. See what happens with the light. So something like that would make a really nice uh, picture up close to it, looking straight up the tree. Like I say, if you good, good harsh light on it, it brings out that texture. Really, really nice. But, uh, I'll have a little look at that in a bit, or have to come back on a sunny day. Right, got the camera set up finally. Um, what I've got is it just tilted in a little bit, so it'll get more of this tree, particularly the texture on the bark. Um, I'm also being aware of what's above it, so I've aimed it. So hopefully I've got this branch just coming back out through the centre of it. Um, again, I've got another about six minutes. I might push it a little bit more because of the uh, dark bark, so I'll get a bit more out of that. But got the bag, hold of the tripod still, because it's kind of tilting too much that way. That. Let's uh, open this up. Shoot away. Right, six minutes. Start time up. Okay, so while that exposure is underway, uh, what I'm basically after this is this going to be this nice, hopefully, textured bark right in the foreground. Um, like I said, it'd be nice to have some light on it to really kind of bring it out. And then I'm always aware of what's going up. So I've got this nice branch. It might actually be lost amongst the rest of it because it's a bit dark. Um, but it's nice to have that coming out central as well, so it's, it's just trying to aim to get everything central. Um, and certainly the detail on that bark as well. Um, but if I come around here, I've actually found a little bit of a better spot, but I think it was a bit too dark. Right. Like I say, need to be back on a sunny day. this way problem with my dog so now he's 14 when he wants to go home he wants to go home so I was planning on going that way but apparently we're going this way now back to the car so I'm gonna see if I can find maybe one more shot on the way back um, let me stop for a sniff now we'll see where the dog wants to go and I'll see if I find a shot wherever he ends up Right, so last one, I've um, decided on wedging it between all these trees here to hopefully get a shot of it all just kind of surrounded because uh, it's looking up straight into the clouds. I've got much shorter exposure 
uh, 16 seconds, so be a bit, be a bit nicer. Hey guys, so that is it. That's my last shot. I've uh, no idea how they come out, but that's uh, that's the fun of it. Because when you don't know, you just enjoy yourself out here. You've not got that instant gratification where you're taking a picture. You kind of sometimes get a bit disappointed straight away when you can see what you're doing straight away. So it's just nice to be out. Um, so what have we learned today? Uh, have a plan B. Um, don't always rely on the British weather because uh, it's uh, never reliable and hopefully I've covered a few little bits which I look for when photographing trees I'll do a better version of this so obviously if we get a nice sunny day and we can work more with the light and stuff but it's um, it's been nice it's been a nice morning it's all that matters and um, yeah Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, subscribe, like, all the other stuff. Uh, big thanks to all my regular commenters and supporters and buy me a coffee. You guys are amazing. Thank you. And yeah. see you next time I'm out. Thanks for watching.